Hey guys, it's me from MalaysianBaitPaddock.com. I'm in my room. Um, it's been a while since I, I recorded a video. I recorded a lot of videos, but I haven't uploaded it. So this video will be quite a while. Uh, like it will be uploaded later, so you guys will see it later. So basically, I'm gonna review a mod I just got. A really cool mod. Let me get a box. I got the Stingray Infinite by Infinite. Okay, the black Stingray. And basically, I got this because you know I. I, I was drawn into the hype of getting these uh, black color mods because they look pretty darn cool. So this is the Stingray mod on my Fogger. Okay, so it looks absolutely cool. Let me let me focus that logo for you. That logo is just absolutely beautiful. See that? So beautiful. I don't know if it looks like a Stingray to me. It doesn't really look like a Stingray, but it's really cool. Okay. Um, comes in this box, comes with different tubes. You know, it's been like forever since I reviewed a mod, so finally, you know, it comes with 18 490 tube, okay, very nice, uh, serial number engraved in the back. Mine is 3761, I don't know, comes with an extension ring, okay, to make it 18650, um, of course, your 18350 tube, uh, magnetic switch, pure silver, not pure, uh, sil silver, painted, silver plated brass. Okay, I'm getting not used to doing all these reviews now. Um, it comes with this drip tip too, okay? It's, it has copper accents on it, and in my opinion, it's the coolest drip tip in the world. So it looks absolutely amazing on my father, in my opinion, okay? It's my opinion. So, what's the Stingray? Um, it's a mechanical mod, no secretary, no nothing. It's a copper tube. Okay, just to show you guys the tube again. It's made out of copper, which is good. Okay, you guys can see the inside. Yep, that's copper. So, from what I heard, you can just send send paper this whole thing and it'll become a pure copper tube. I might be thinking of doing that because I don't know, just for fun. Okay, the switch. Magnetic switch, it's like a Nemesis style, okay? You just pull it out. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, I watched Twisted 420 uh, video, and basically his video made me buy it, okay? Because I, I like this color, and he said it worked really well, so yeah. Magnetic switch, okay? Silver plated. Um, non engraved in the bottom, it's copper. The 510 connection looks absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I like the 510 connection. I don't know. Some people don't like it, but I like it. Look at that. Look at that baby. So beautiful. Absolutely. It has these slots. Okay. And that's that's all about it. You know, don't have to go to close up. It's a adjustable, adjust self adjusting 510 connection. Yep, yeah, boy. So the treads, yeah, it's okay. I got this for like 30 bucks. Okay, so whatever. It's, it's cheap. It's dirt cheap. So if it didn't work well, I, I wouldn't really give a crap. But it's, it's working well. Okay. The engraving, it's absolutely beautiful. It's really deeply, nicely engraved. 18350 battery. Put it on. You know, get it in there, mate. Get it in there. Screw the, the button. The button is, yeah, it's, it's magnetic. It's probably the first time I actually use a magnetic button because I never use except for the Poldiac. That one is just legendary, okay? But this one So it's been a while since I used this kind of mod. My my daily mod is my of course my Sigeli uh, 22. My Sigeli 22 is one of my uh, daily mods and also my Barong mod. I did not do a review for this one because it's an old mod, but it's my trusty mod. It's a Malaysian mod. So I finally, you know, like been using brass contacts on the Barong mod. So it, it fires well, but not as well. So when I first got this and I, I fired it on my cave, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, give me a second there. It's It, it makes me feel like. You know, I, I miss the firing of like the Chi U's, the old one, the silver plated contacts, the Nemesis, the silver plated contacts. They fire like crazy, and this one is no exception. It fires like mad, like what uh, Twisted Four Twenty has said. Um, it 
it has a 0.1 voltage drop on 1.6 ohm, something like that. I don't know. He 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 freaking just tested it. So yeah, it's it's really really nice, really really nice mod. I'm very happy with it. I'm so happy that the fogger looks absolutely gorgeous on this. I'm gonna just review the black fogger. I don't think there's any reviews of the black fogger, so I'm just gonna do one straight away. And yeah, you know, it's it's a good mod. Okay, the button it's it's, it's not the best in the world, I guess. But it's doable. Wait, now it's feeling me. There you go. This thing hits hard, okay? I have a dual core point point eight ohm. Okay, point eight ohm. Not that low ohm, but you know, uh, twenty eight gauge. Ten rep each, I think eleven reps each. doesn't fire hmm I get this kind of problem sometimes with with this mod okay clouds uh, the drip tip I really like um, very happy with the drip tip actually very nice looks super okay show you the whole mod in close up just for a second you know just to show you guys how beautiful this is look at that look at that the drip tape has this brass accent, as you guys can see. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It's 22 mil in diameter, so I can, you know, just take my K-Fan. It's the only two mods I use, okay? I mean, the two atomizers. I use a Typhon sometimes, but I just hate setting up the Typhon, okay? Self-adjusting, so you just have to push it in. It actually looks really good on a, a K-Fan too. In my humble opinion, we have the custom top cap. Let me get, let me get something else. Let me get something else. Let me get a drip tip. Come on, come out drip tip. There's a drip tip I ordered from the same seller. Okay, I'll, I'll link you the name later. Because he's my good friend, John. So this drip tip took it off. Put the black one in. Oh yeah, oh yeah. My friends say it looks like a black nipple, <laughs> but yeah, it it hits so hard. Okay, I just miss mechanical mods now, but yeah, this is my short review of the black stingray. Um, nothing else much to talk about. It's 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 a very very hard hitting mod. I like it. I'm gonna beep it again. Hear that sound? That's firing really, really well. The single coil. One thing though, wait. You have to hit it firmly, okay? You can't, you can't just hit it like. It won't fire. Okay, you need to hit it dead center. It'll fire. One thing before I forget to say it. Eighteen six fifty batteries. Okay, it doesn't really work. That's what I thought, and that's what I think. Okay, um, if you guys know why, please let me know. Okay, like if Twister Four Hundred, if you're watching this video, please let me know how you fix this, cause I have no idea, and that's why I'm doing this video. Um, okay, let me get this. This is the eighteen four ninety tube, right? Okay, I'm gonna put the extension ring. It basically makes it eighteen six fifty compatible. The threads is very nice. Okay, you can see you can see the line, but it's not like too obvious. Um, I'm gonna get my ring. I'm gonna put it on. Okay. Dum, 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 dum. I'm so lazy to cut the video, so I'm just gonna show you guys. I almost dropped my top cap. Okay. <laughs> just put it on. The threads, you know, copper. Uh, from what I heard, copper is very soft, so you know, don't expect copper to be superb, but it's okay. I saw in Twisted Four in this video, he used some um, Sony VTC4 batteries, right? So I'm just going to do the same thing, you know. VTC4 batteries. Put it in. Put the switch in. Ah, there you go. This gap is just very long, okay? See the gap? I just want to know if there is any way to 
shorten that gap you know it's, if there's any way like my k funds pin is already been pushed like into the max and if i put my folder on it doesn't really fit because the pin on the folder is super long so maybe my batteries are too wow it fits actually well i just pro proved myself wrong okay forget what I just said I just want to know how to make it shorter okay I just want to know how to make this this part shorter if it's possible if it's not possible then just forget it okay I just wanted to know okay uh, locking it not gonna find it anymore so yeah that's about it for the video where did I get this let me search for you that guy he is a very good friend of mine he's not really a good friend of mine but you know I always buy stuff from him he's very good his price is always very reasonable but he does not ship internationally, so internationally you guys should just find it on eBay or whatever. But in Malaysia, if you are watching from Malaysia, go to facebook.com, so electronic.rockout.7, it could be here, get it from him. That's all I can say. Top quality mod. For the price, I paid top quality. I heard the paint is not very good, I don't know. It scratches easily, I guess. But who cares, I'll probably just send it all and make it copper. So yeah, thanks for watching. This is my video, hope you guys like it. Peace out.